You've seen the videos. Right Tracker 10 has told them time and time again. And they're stealing their cars. Then they're using those cars to commit more crimes. Columbus police tracked two stolen cars to this area. But the problem hasn't stopped. They were picking on vulnerable parts of our society. <laughs> Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris was the first to tell you about the game over kids stealing cars to commit violent crimes. Well, now more than a year later, the problems in our community have not stopped. So why and who are these teens? Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris went straight to our court judges to ask what's being done to keep these juveniles from reoffending. Only going to hunt. They're not going to be able to chase us for that long. This is Tyra Turner who was 15 at the time last October, shooting a Facebook Live video as he and another juvenile are running from Obet's police in a stolen car. What they didn't know is Franklin County Chief Deputy Jim Gilbert was driving in the area. He heard the chase and pulled off the road in an unmarked vehicle and drew spike strips to try and stop the team. Oh, no, brother, no, brother, no. Obviously very concerned uh, for the safety of the Obed's police officers as well as the deputies, even myself. Oh! I'm trying to throw the spikes out, cuz! I'm trying to throw the spike with my dick! Oh, oh my dick, cuz! He just missed, he though! Gilbert hoped since Turner recorded his own crime spree, it would land Turner behind bars to think about his actions. I don't understand how you don't watch parts of this video and become as shocked as you should be knowing that lives were at risk and, and they have no regard for anybody's safety. You probably haven't heard about the crimes Turner is accused of committing because he's a juvenile. 10 TV does not name juveniles or show their faces, but because of the repeated violent crimes, we are sharing some names and showing their faces. Turner has been charged 31 times for gun and car theft offenses between September 2017 and April 2022. In March this year, Hilliard police say Turner was involved in an accident with a stolen car and a school bus. Through public records requests, Crime Tracker 10 learned the juvenile prosecutor in the case wrote in an email to detectives that he asked the magistrate to send Turner to juvenile prison since Turner was already on supervision for more than five felony cases. In the email, the prosecutor wrote in part, the magistrate would not consider my request and instead placed him on new terms of probation. In April, Columbus police confirmed they arrested Turner after they say he struck a police officer in a stolen car. It just shows that these kids, if they have no regard for a uniformed police officer, then they have no regard for you or I. Columbus police commander Dwayne Mabry says Turner is considered a game over kid. One of about 40 police tracked for violently stealing cars, mostly for joy rides. Through public records requests, we obtained a list of four groups of juveniles police tracked as a part of the operation. We mapped it out for you with the juvenile's initials. According to Columbus Police, from the beginning of the year through the end of April, there were nearly 3,000 cars reported stolen in the city of Columbus. Many of them were stolen along the Morse Road corridor, and Mabry says many of those thefts were by juveniles. According to Columbus Police, at least one of the Game Over kids has been a homicide victim. 18-year-old Chaz Fleming was shot and killed inside a stolen car in March Mabry says at least three other Game Over kids were in the car at the time. All juveniles who'd been arrested for stealing cars and had been released. They are bragging about it. It's, it's a slap in the face to what we're trying to do. Mabry explains how frustrating it is for officers to arrest the same juveniles multiple times, even in one week. We had a kid just brag to us within the last month. We asked him, well, how often are you doing this? It's still particularly key as in Hyundai's. And he said, well, I'm taking about seven to 10 of these a week. A week. Mabry argues officers will continue to make the arrests. What happens to them once we arrest them? That is not on us. That's, that's on the court. But we're going to keep doing our job. A lot of people wonder how these kids can continuously be arrested and charged and still be put back out on the streets. It does appear that the juvenile can go out, as you've mentioned in that one juvenile's case, and re-offend re since 2017. Juvenile Court Administrative Judge George Leach is familiar with the Game Over kids. He was a defense attorney before he took the bench less than two years ago. 
He admits the carjacking videos are disturbing. It's almost hard to believe, you know, it's good. and I know it's real. I, I mean, I'm living it. I know it's real, but it's it's just the level is just almost hard to conceive the juvenile. Leach explains during COVID, the court did not hold as many juveniles as they typically would, but they are reevaluated the scoring to hold juveniles. He says those who are put on juvenile probation are about 77% likely to reoffend. How do you as a judge get through to that 75, 77% who reoffend to make sure they don't show back up into your court? I say to them, I'm not, this is not, I read the PSIs on other kids and my own kids and I see where some kids think it's a joke and I say it's not a joke. I want them to call me the moment you do something wrong. Leach says the juvenile judges are working with Columbus Police and the Franklin County Prosecutor's Office to find a strategy to keep the juveniles from reoffending and protecting the public. So what is the solution? The solution is to figure out ways to connect, as you said earlier in your interview. How do you connect to these kids? We have to connect. And the solution gets back to putting services in place that connect. Mabry says the community is stepping in to help the criminal justice system to stop the violent juveniles. And a lot of the, these crimes that we're, we're solving, we're getting the help of family members. We're getting the help of people within the community that are so that these kids are impacting. For Crime Tracker 10, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News.